What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading and doesn't pertain to everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. I am back. I told everybody I was going to take a couple months break and I did. Okay. Um, let's get right into this, y'all. I done moved. Everything looks different. I'm on the floor right now. <laughs> but let's get into this. Spirit, ancestors, and guides, what is going on for the collective at this time? Okay. Pickpocket. Ooh, we, what are y'all dealing with? I do not like that energy already. Okay. But what's so interesting is we have, oh, these, these two energies are so different from each other. Okay, so, so different. So on the, over here, we have somebody who is a very intuitive person, somebody whose energy just, just coming around, somebody that just has a conversation with this person, they have a tendency to heal others, okay, without even knowing it, all right? And this could be through intuition, through advice, um, through telling your own story and helping people because this is somebody who's very intuitive and people trust this person's opinion okay it says intuitive healer restores balance creates growth in others feminine works in human-centric occupations so you know somebody out there could be a nurse or a, a counselor or a, a drug you know whatever okay uh seeks unity of mind body and spirituality so you know this is somebody who has worked very hard on themselves this is somebody that seeks balance they don't like drama and all that extra shit in their life right and with night if we got chivalrous honor focused on the needs of others loyal self-sacrificing goes into battle for those that they love very protective this is a very very beautiful energy okay but then over here we have this energy of a pickpocket um this is somebody who's very charming but yet at the same time they are they're intelligent they're skillful you know they they can work but they aren't They aren't, it's like they're very much stuck in this, this dimension, right? Very low vibrational. This person can value money, possessions, bullshit like that over true spirituality, true, true energy here. This person is greedy. This person could hoard mindless bullshit. Uh, they fear losing money or their status. They're very demanding and they drain other people. So this person could be very draining to your energy. This person could be very controlling, okay? And this person could also be like pessimistic, all right? This is somebody that's just very negative. Uh, that, that negativity kind of drains your energy, okay? And inflexible, my way or the highway, like not willing to bend, budge, or compromise at all, all right? Um, yeah, they're charming, they look good, they're very intelligent, but at the same time, they're, they're just not a good person, right? And what I think is interesting is I don't even feel like, at first I was feeling like this could be your energy over here, the intuitive healer, the very loyal, which I feel like it is. I feel like those are the traits that you give off. But I'm feeling like this is another outer energy here, okay? So I feel like there could be two people in your life or life, or in your energy or somebody coming into your energy here because it's like, and you might have, it's like, okay, on one side, there's this person, you know, that you might have been tied to, that you might have been dealing with for a long time. And then there's this other person who's very intuitive, this person almost feels like they heal your energy. This person is like your knight in shining armor because that knight is sticking out there. This person is loyal. They're protective. 
They, you know, this person just seeks balance in spirit in their mind, body, and spirit. Also, this person does not feel like chivalry is dead. They do like to go in above and beyond for their partner. Um, and this person values honor. Okay. Um, I just heard that Scarface saying, like, all I have in this world is is my balls and my world word, right? And that's almost like what they live by. I know that's a little crazy to people, but shit. Yeah. All I have in this world are my balls and my word, right? Shit, and I'm not finna, no, I'm not finna fuck off either one of those, right? And so that's kind of the energy to this person. They, you know, they go to battle for the people that they love. And this person's also very spiritual, okay? Which is kind of different. The problem is, I feel like you and this person haven't really had a chance to kick it off or really, um, move into the a uh, uh, move into a more serious connection because there is something over here that's very toxic and somebody who's very manipulative because like I said they're very charming they know how to get their way but this person's also very shallow they worry about money possessions it's not a true love like it's not a deep passionate love for one another yeah there's a love there but it's almost like this situation here is what gets in the way of moving forward towards such a beautiful situation here, okay? Let's get a couple of these, Spirit. I didn't shuffle these. Usually, I'll just grab the cards that I, I, I um, this is the ones that I was, I'll shuffle them when I'm meditating, but for some reason, avoiding, avoidance, dissociation, um, somebody in their head a lot, head a lot avoiding the reality of of maybe this person okay but let's see spirit ancestors and guides what's going on here let's get this person on the side what are the collective and the people in their energy spirit ancestors and guides i'm here in shuffle one more time i'm sorry y'all i have to obey okay i've got to i've got to okay that's what they were trying to see. Wow, it's a different card. That's what they were trying to see. It's just so complicated. Okay, so this situation is super complicated for you. I feel like deep down inside, you know what you need to do. and, and But at the same time, it's very difficult. But let's see. For this person over here, Spirit. They got a lot of cards. Wow. And out of all these, wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, crunk, high and crazy. Okay. So this person over here, this greedy, selfish ass person, they could be somebody that stays fucked up all the time. Pills, they're always crunk. Okay. High and crazy. Sometimes this person could seem very unstable out of their mind, and, and this could be alcohol or drugs, okay? That doesn't pertain to anybody, and maybe sometimes, because it's also at the bottom of the deck, so it could be what you don't see, maybe sometimes you could be wondering why this person is acting a fool, like why they're acting, they're having these mood swings, and it could have to do with something involving, you know, these type of things, and they hide that from you, okay? But we have, with this person, mental health issues, mood swings again, okay? This person is, like, they're unstable. They're unpredictable, and it's a little bit scary, okay? This person could have, like, be really into politics, um, have very strong views, okay? And, like, and not even just in politics. Like, they have very strong opinions, and they like to force their opinions on other people or like if you don't agree with their opinions, they they get pissed, all right? This person is also very insecure as fuck. 
They could accuse you of doing shit all the time. They could make it out like, you know, you're the problem. They, but it says jealous of your beauty, insecure, and intimidated. What it is is that this person is intimidated by you. You're confident. You stand in your energy. You stand on business. You're not one to motherfucking be played with. And you're easy on the eyes. The total motherfucking package. And so what this person does is they try to bring you down because they know that you are the catch. They know that if they bring your energy down, they drain you physically, mentally, and spiritually, that that will bring down this beautiful light that's inside of you. And, and they hate that. They hate, they hate this beautiful light that not even just on the outside, on the inside, they, they, there's something very dark about this person. And it's like, They'll try to accuse you of shit, act crazy, belligerent, and it's because they're insecure their damn selves. And right here, we have in danger to themselves, put in harm's way. They're a danger, okay? They're a danger not only to themselves, but I feel like there could be like sometimes when this person has mood swings or they're acting crazy, <coughs> they also could scare you a little bit, okay? Um... I'd be careful with this person because it's almost like they live very carefree. They truly, it's like they might want to hold on to you, but at the same time, do their own thing, have a whole secret life that they got going on, but then project what they're doing onto you. That's where those accusations come from. That's where their jealousy, their insecurity comes on. They're projecting the bullshit that they're doing onto you. Let's see, spirit. This is going to be for this other person, spirit. It's going to be for this other person, spirit. So the thing about this other person is that... They feel like they aren't where they're supposed to be at. And what this does is affect. See, you know one of those people that are always there for everybody else, but then nobody's ever there for them? That's the energy that this person has. Uh, look at the dog with his little empty bowl, right? You know, this person is starving. This person really wants to somebody to feed them emotionally and spiritually just like they do other people because they're always there for everybody else but it seems like nobody is there for them and so this leaves this person feeling at times and usually the most intuitive and spiritual and in tune people could be left feeling very unfulfilled and unsatisfied by the physical realm of this earth right because once you start growing spiritually mentally physically it's like you start realizing that this shit here is so mediocre right and what truly matters are those real connections those true those true deep meaningful connections and this person just they haven't found it every they're always there for everybody else they're always spreading their knowledge they're always you know but when it comes to them they they could try to get into relationships and the people that they deal with are very shallow or very uh low vibrational okay and this person just really wants somebody that vibes on the same vibration they do um they also tend to have a victim mentality sometimes and i'm not talking like poor pitiful me but that's it they could have went through a lot of shit in their life they could have had more downs than ups. You know, I'm talking about back to childhood and then just like things keep coming. Okay, they could have lost loved ones that were very close to them. And sometimes that makes it very hard for them to cope because they're like, man, I'm always there for everybody else, but nobody's there for me. And it starts to become a burden to this person. It, it hurts them very, very much. And I feel like this person does or will. So if you haven't met this person, they will. And if you already have, they feel that deep connection with you. 
This scares this person though. Okay. It scares the fuck out of this person because they are scared to be vulnerable. There's an energy where when they show vulnerability, because when this person loves, they love hard. Okay. So they're scared to show their vulnerability because when they do, they get shit on. Because like I said, this is somebody that does the right thing. They're there for people. They love hard. They're protective. And then when it comes to getting their energy fulfilled, nobody's there. They get ghosted. People vanish out of their life. And it tends to hurt this person. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I should have brought something to drink. Get here with me. Let me see. Now, this could have been this low vibrational person over here. Could be, damn, it came out in reverse. And I have been, I put all these in the upright when I was shuffling and meditating on these cards. Um, this could have been somebody that you've had a long-term relationship, even been married to, engaged to, okay, or even had a child with. They're very childish with the Page of Swords. Their communication is shit. They always want to be the person in charge, but yet they come across like they always want to be the leader, but yet they're very childish. They're not somebody that you would want to lead you. This is an argument. Page of Swords also comes off as an argument. Okay, like there's, it's very hard to communicate with this person because it always turns into an argument. It always turns into some kind of bullshit here. And this is somebody at one point you thought would be very fulfilling to you. But with the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is just, you know, somebody that is, somebody is realizing that they would not want at all. This person will never make me happy. They will never fulfill me. They will never give me, you know, what I need. It's almost like I'm always at war when it comes to this person. It, it, I feel like it's very hard for you to even communicate with this person without them either giving their opinions or it turning into an argument. Yeah, but see, they're always quick to come and apologize and make these offers and tell you all the right things when it comes down to the nitty gritty then revert right back to the old bullshit let's see this person over here spirit ancestors and guides this intuitive healer this knight over here spirit But ooh, this King of Cups keeps coming up in this energy. This is somebody that's protective, loyal, emotionally mature. They have overwhelming emotions for you. This is could be a water sign. This is somebody that's coming up very strong here, okay? The issue is it, it fell over here on this other person's side. So this person could be very concerned about this situation right here. They don't want to be vulnerable or give to this situation or pursue this situation because of this other person and situation here. They see you as this beacon of strength, though. They respect everything that you've put up with and everything that you're going through. They feel like you're a very, very strong person for all the bullshit that you have dealt with. There is this respect and, and deep love for you, and they don't understand why they feel this way for you, but they are very spiritual. So they know there's a reason why they feel so drawn to your energy, okay? But they don't want to pursue this. They don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to give into it until, because of all the bullshit that you're with this other person, but they respect you for, for, Everything that you went through during this, uh, even though if you go back to that situation or whatever, it's like they they get it because they're very spiritual. They've dealt with the same kind of bullshit. And with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, they, they want to take it slow. They This could take a while to come into fruition because of this other situation. But the thing about the Knight of Pentacles is if they make a promise, like just not necessarily, but the Knight of Pentacles... If you hire the Knight of Pentacles to do a job, it might take a little while 
But guess what? Guarantee that job is going to get done. It's going to be completed and it's going to be completed in the right way. So it's almost like this is the person that's going to bring completion into your life. And like I said, they feel unfulfilled and unsatisfied. You might bring that completion into their life, but it's going to take some time. They're not going to move into it very fast because of this other shit. And they know how they love hard. They know they're loyal. They don't want to hurt themselves again. But they have a lot of respect for you, okay? And I feel like it will come to fruition. What did they get at the bottom? Oh my gosh, I just wanted to look at the bottom, bottom of the deck, which you don't see coming, the lover's card. A deep soul connection. Somebody that could love the fuck out of you, give you everything that you deserve. But the thing about the lovers is back in the day, it was called the choice. It's almost like you have a choice to make and... What do you want? And I think ultimately you're going to choose the lover's card, the deep spiritual connection that you feel comfortable with. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.